hey beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we'll be making bubble braids the almighty bubble braids how i love <laughs> so guys if this is your first time stopping by my channel please do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you'll be the first to get notified once i drop new videos and if you're a returning subscriber mwah, i love you thank you so much for always coming back i really do appreciate that you're the real mvp so guys for this um tutorial i'll be i'll be using i'll be doing a box braid i mean oh what did i just say oh my god i'll be <laughs> okay i'll be doing a box cut and then i'll be twisting the hair so this is Please make sure the hair is prepped. You know, you don't want to braid on a dirty, you don't want to braid on a dirty hair. So I'll be twisting the hair, but first I like to do um like three or four braids before I go in with my twistings. So that's just like it is in the video. Just watch closely. You're gonna see how I start with box braid, just like two or three um lines, and then I go in with my twists. So I like to do the box braid first to secure the roots of the hair before going in with the twist. So that's basically it. So I actually made the first line, this first line, the first three, I made it slightly bigger because I, because of what I want to, how I want to achieve the hair. I would like it to, I would like, I wouldn't want the back to be too bulky, too bulgy. So that's why I decided to make this part a little bit bigger. But the other ones, I reduced my hand as I went on to the next line. You're going to see it in the video. So if you don't know how to twist, you can um, check out some videos on YouTube here where you get to learn how to twist. Yeah, so for this part, I'm going to be, because it's in the front and I want, you know, I had to reduce my hand just a little bit. I had to reduce the size of the, the, the hair here just a little bit. Not like it's very obvious, but I just wanted it to be quite smaller than where we're coming from don't forget the back i made it slightly bigger i don't know what you call big but it's not tiny for this um we're going to be using expression series and yes you can depending on how long you want it you can braid you can I mean you can make your bubble braid with the hair without even cutting it like this but i'll be cutting it because i'm not i don't want to make it long it's going to be short like a bob okay so um make sure you have your crochet hook ready you need your crochet pin your crochet hook so I'll be crocheting the hair into our already twisted hair. Just like this. Make sure the hair just like what I'm doing you can see what I'm doing here make sure the the twist is in between the hair in between the kinky hair so that while you're working you're not unraveling the twist yes 
please take note of that as you're doing make sure you're conscious of your already twisted hair so it doesn't pop out and then you can see i didn't make the hair too tight from the root so avoid you know sometimes when you're doing this kind of wraps it could be very painful if you're not careful so i didn't make it too tight and then i'm measuring the hair right now with my with a line on my palm yes that's because i want to show you I already have a size in my head and i mean it's easier for me but so that you don't get i mean the it's it's unified you have to make sure to measure it you could measure with anything but i'm using my just one of my fingers and then the line on my finger to measure so that everything comes out the same right but then i'm sure that by the time you start doing it you might not even have to keep measuring for everything you just have to use your discretion at the end of the day then i begin to wrap each of my bubbles with a little strand of the kinky hair i just take a little strand and i'm wrapping it like this and then i move on to the next one and i keep wrapping when it's as if it's almost finished you take another tiny bit and then keep wrapping until you get to the tip just like i'm doing right here So you can adjust it with your fingers, you can adjust it with your hands, just like I'm doing here, you know, to bring out the puff a little, and then also to make sure that the twist is not coming out at all, to make sure the twist is not showing at all. So please take note of that, take note of the twist not coming out. And then once you get to the tip, you wrap properly and then tie before going on to the next level so we're going to repeat the same process here crochet your hair your kinky hair into the braid your twist already twisted hair yeah with your crochet hook make sure your twist is hiding and you begin to wrap begin to walk your way around it and create your bubbles so you can see it's easy right <laughs> yes i know it's it's gonna be easy for you once you follow the steps you can't go wrong so you can see i'm taking a little strand doesn't have to be too much and then you begin to walk with that you begin to wrap but first off, you're wrapping the roots and please don't wrap too tight so that you can move your head or your model, your client, whoever you're doing it for can move their heads. I mean, it will make sense for you to now finish braid making your hair and then you can't even move it. Oh my God. Anyways, so you repeat the process just like it is right here. take it down and then go to the next bubble create your next bubble and then wrap again keep repeating that so for the back I couldn't film the back of the the hair but it's the same thing you're seeing here so for the back I did for the first two lines I did six bubbles i created six bubbles yeah the bubbles are this puffed part you can call it i don't know you can call it puffed braids but what i know it's called is bubble braids so the puffs you can i mean create as long as you want as much as you want but for the first two because i want to i want it to have like there's an effect i'm trying to create with it i don't want it to be too long and i want it to end up closely equal so what i did was the back i made it six bu bubbles and then this part i'm beginning to create seven bubbles so that at the end of the day they meet 
themselves if that makes any sense so there's also another method you can use um, to achieve this if you don't want to wrap take strands of the kinky hair to wrap you can also use another method that i'll be showing you but i'm just going to be doing one of that because i don't want it to mess up with the whole process so i'll just be doing one just so that if you can't use this method you can use the rubber band method so the other method you can see it look at how beautiful it is just check it out check it out so the other method as i was saying is um the rubber band method if you think you cannot do this if you think you cannot um you can't go through all that for me it's easier i feel this is easy but then it's up to you to decide if you want to for some people you might well for some of some people might feel okay the rubber band method is actually easier for me so you can do the rubber band method if you don't want to do this method and i'll be showing you how to do that in the next one Please guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do well to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always get um, my videos and then you'll be the first to get notified. Okay, so here are the rubber bands. For this one, we'll be doing the rubber band method. It's also pretty easy, but for me, I prefer the other one because I have my I have nails on and then my nails had already lifted a little bit. So the rubber band kept going into the nails, you understand? So it wasn't very easy for me to do this method. That was why I had to stick to the other method. So if this one works for you, fine. And if not, you can go with the first method. So this is just for those who might feel, okay, I want another method. I want i want to do the rubber band method so it depends on what works for you i'm just showing you the two you can choose which one works better for you so the same routine the same way measure and then begin to wrap your rubber band around it just like i'm doing so while i was doing this the rubber band kept going into my lifted nails so it was holding me back but if you don't have a lifted nails like mine maybe it will be easier for you just maybe so that's up to you and but then if you, this doesn't work you can go with the first method if the first me method doesn't work for you, you can go with this method either ways are gonna give you the same results and be, they are both beautiful too So you keep doing that until you get to the tip and then you wrap it up. 
and trust me the result is the same you're gonna arrive at the same result So it depends on you to decide which one you want to use. You can um, comment down below to tell me which is more beautiful. You can see the rubber band method. And then the um, or the first method that we had to wrap with the kinky. So you might just be the one to decide. Comment down below to tell me which do you prefer. So next we have to trim out all of the excesses at the tip of the hair. This is actually pretty easy. It's a very easy style. Look at it. It's easy. It's beautiful. Look at, just imagine, very cute. And it's not heavy at all. 